I've got a fair amount of questions asking me about how I grade my video footage that I post on Instagram or my other YouTube channel. So I figured I'll make a quick tutorial explaining how I've color graded this this one clip, how I've gone from from this into this kind of a color grade. The thing about color grading video is that assuming you're shooting with something like uh, a consumer level mirrorless camera as I am, uh, the a7 III from Sony in, in this case, um, the amount of adjustments you make are going to be a lot more limited as compared to color grading still images that are shot in RAW for example. So, so this camera only shoots 8-bit meaning there's a limited amount of data which means that you have to you have to arrive at a pretty good result in camera already. So anyway, I'm just going to remove all of the edits here and explain one by one what I've done in the Lumetri Color tab of Premiere Pro. First, basic corrections. I've changed the temperature a little bit. Again, you cannot do as much as you can on stills in Lightroom, but you can make it slightly colder. I've fixed the exposure by a bit. I would not recommend underexposing by more than about half a stop. But in this scene, there were so many high, um, so many bright highlights that I did underexpose a bit. And then I've simply dropped the shadow by a small amount in order to get some shadow contrast. I've done nothing in the creative tab. I've adjusted the curves by by a little bit, a bit of an S-curve, a bit of a raised black point for a fade, and contrast. The color wheels tab is probably the most useful way to color create videos since you cannot do that much with the temperature tab. This is pretty similar to the um, split toning in Lightroom. In this case, I've added some blue, um, some uh, purplish blue into the highlights. I did forget to mention that I've increased the saturation a bit in, in there as well. Something that I would do rarely, but this one did seem a bit boring without it, so I did make the exception and um, increase the saturation. And yeah, the color wheels. Uh, HSL secondary is the most useful tool for editing individual colors, so this is a bit purple now. I went and selected the blue and made it more um, cyan and colder. And again, I've bumped the saturation of that color as well by a small amount, or a large amount actually, but it seems like a small amount in the end result. And I've done, it, done nothing with the vignette. So again, that's a fairly simple edit. There's not that much you can do with the video clips, but you can do a little bit. I'll show the before and after here. Hopefully that explains some of my process. Um, Again, my philosophy is to keep it as simple as possible, do small edits, so it's more important to know what you want the end result to look like than it is to know some advanced tricks, at least that's my opinion. So anyway, yeah, thanks for watching.